Hi, this is AJ True and Manos Brilakis from the Center for Coronary Artery Disease at the Minneapolis Heart Institute Foundation, introducing a new series of videos called PCI Shorts. These videos describe various PCI techniques and were developed through the support of the Joseph F. and Mary M. Flysiker Family Foundation. The first video will discuss about how to wire through tortuosity. This is the problem. Sometimes we're trying to wire a highly angulated vessel, and the guide wire, instead of tracking the vessel, it prolapses distally into the main vessel. How can we solve this problem? We will discuss four potential solutions. The first one is to change the wire or the bed. Specifically, you can either use a polymer jacketed wire or a hydrophilic wire or a wire with a different transition on the tip, or we can change the band, putting a larger band or a double band. The second solution is to use an angulated microcatheter, such as the Supercross or the Venture. This is done by advancing a workhorse wire past the origin of the angulated vessel. We then advance uh, the angulated microcatheter. The guide wire is withdrawn, allowing the microcatheter to assume its angulated tip. Then the microcatheter is withdrawn until it hooks the angulated vessel, and then we advance the guide wire down into the vessel. The third technique is to use the reversed guide wire, also called a hairpin guide wire technique. In this technique, we use a polymer jacketed guide wire that has a 180 degree bend, three centimeters from its tip. This guide wire is advanced into the vessel and then it's advanced past the origin of the angulated side branch. The wire is then withdrawn with the distal end engaging the side branch and tracking along the vessel. We then insert a single lumen microcatheter over this guide wire until it enters into the angulated side branch. We remove the knuckled polymer jacketed guide wire and then insert the guide wire through which the other equipment will be delivered. A variation of the reverse guide wire technique is the so-called streamlined reverse guide wire technique in which the knuckle is actually formed inside the vessel. The way this is performed is by advancing a guide wire past the origin of the angulated side branch and past the origin of another branch that is used to form the knuckle. Dual lumen microcatheter is advanced through which the polymer jacketed wire goes into the side branch. Then the dual lumen microcatheter is withdrawn proximal to the origin of the angulated side branch. Then the knuckle is rotated until it faces downwards towards the angulated vessel and then it's withdrawn until it enters into the angulated branch. The fourth and last solution is the so-called deflection balloon technique. In this technique, we advance a guide wire into the main vessel distal to the origin of the angulated branch. We then advance a balloon sized one to one to the vessel, just distal to the takeoff of the angulated side branch. And then we advance the guide wire with deflects of this balloon to enter into the angulated side branch. Thank you.